out with uh, Global DJs, or Global DJ at this very moment. Would you like to introduce yourself? Well, uh, I'm DJ Stay Up, I'm one of the Global DJs. I'm uh, just one of two. I'm uh, producing together with my brother, Flo. But uh, I'm spinning the wheels just alone. Because DJing is uh, just something for one, in my opinion. Did you have fun? How do you like Seattle? Cool. Very nice. Yeah. Do you, do you feel that you get anything different with the Seattle experience versus other places? Um, uh, well, Seattle is, of course, something special. It's uh, very close to Vancouver. We had uh, two gigs in uh, Vancouver, Canada. Um, it's nice. I'd like to be here. How would you explain what you bring to these type of events? Well, difficult to explain, okay? Um, of course, it's a European music. I know it's very underground to, uh, to uh, um, it, it's, uh, I know it's very underground to, uh, to the States because house and electro is not that common in the uh, USA. It's more about uh, R&B and hip hop music. But um, we always had really great gigs in the US and also in Canada. Uh, in this, let's say, small underground clubs. I like it a lot. It's cool. It doesn't depend on the size of the club, you know. We had great parties in front of really big stages, 10,000 or 20,000 people. But um, we play in front of 200 or 300 people who are really into it. Um, it's uh, the same good feeling. So what do you feel the reason is that that made you want to start DJing and, and getting out and producing music and and giving the crowd yeah. what what they get. Well, of course, it's always nice to uh, to uh, see people dancing to your music, mm. to see that people like what you do. Um, doesn't depend on how much people there are. Just to see people having a passion for the love yeah. of the music, right? So do you feel that there's a culture intertwined with electronic music that's not part of the main culture? Like a subculture that's... Yes. Yes? How would you describe that in your own words to someone that doesn't have an idea what electronic music is all about? Well, um, this kind of electronic music we do is just uh, a subculture in... Uh, some parts of Europe, in USA, maybe Canada, but in uh, many parts of the world, like uh, South America, Middle America, and Russia, and all these Eastern countries, it's a uh, kind of mainstream. You know, they have uh, radio stations playing electronic music all over the day. Um, so. It's still some kind of uh, global music, still. At every show, what what inspires you to keep producing music and not to just stop? Uh, first of all, it's um, because I really like to do what I do. I like to listen to the music I play. Um, I like the productions I do. Um, I like these electronic scenes. Um, I started uh, at the beginning of the 90s with uh, electronic music, you know, techno music and rave music and all this stuff. So it, it really was a, a re revolution, you know, from uh, guitar music and drum music and rock music to computer music. And uh, I still like that. Any upcoming albums, production companies that you work for? Any events that you personally throw or any new styles of music that you like to bring? Um, we're working on a new album right now. Um, producing music is getting difficult because um, all people are downloading music for free. You know, because they think it's for free. So producing music is uh, going to be more promotional. So we are actually pro producing music just for promotion. To, uh, to make shows, to make gigs. Um, our next album will be finished in awesome. 
and uh, the next single is going to be ready before the summer. Oh yeah? Uh, what, what's the name of that track? The Secret. Secret. Yeah. If you could talk to some of the parents and the individuals that attend these events, what would you like to tell them? It's no problem. It's not about drugs, it's about the music. I never took drugs. It's about fun. It's nothing to uh, worry about. It's just about the music. Do you believe that the culture that lies within electronic music will ever die out? Uh, not to die out, but of course it's uh, going to change. I mean, when I started it was about 80s music, about techno and rave music. It always changes, it develops. Um, it will be very different in five years, you know? Yes, it will. That's the nature of this music, it develops with the people. It will never die out. In my Hopefully. opinion, it'll never die out. No. So, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much. All right.